Sorry, you're going to need to go back another 4,000 years. And uh, this guy, that's Noah, uh, in the ark, looked like this. You know, because except for Proverbs, Psalms, and Numbers, uh, this is a book of lies. Here's the fully translated one for your resources. In case it doesn't show up in the comments, here it is. Okay, have a lovely day. Oh, one more thing. I almost forgot. Jesus. God did not warn him or instruct him on how to build the ark. Lucifer, a.k.a. Inky, did. Okay, have a nice day. I ain't gonna lie. I felt like the Apostle Paul in Acts 16, 18. If you don't know what I'm talking about, pause this video and go read it. You said that God did not instruct Noah in how to build the ark. But when we go to Genesis chapter 6, we see where God said, I'm about to destroy them together with the land. Make yourself an ark of gopher wood. Make it in rooms, stalls, pens, coops, nests, cages, compartments, and coat it inside and out with a pitch. This is the way, the way you are to make it. The length of the ark shall be 300 cubits, its width 50 cubits, and its height 30 cubits. You shall make a window for light and ventilation for the ark and finish it to at least a cubit, 18 inches from the top. I mean, you could pause and read. God literally told him how to make the ark. And even if it was a recording in scripture about how God directly told him how to build the ark, many times when God gives a word, that word is like an Amazon package. When you first receive it, you see the outside of it. But just like with the package, you sit down, you open it up, and you see all the contents that's inside of the package. In the same way, many times when he gives a word, that literally box of a word will have components inside of it for instruction. That's a part of the science of the word of God. But y'all aren't ready for that conversation yet. I might do a class on that. And you said except for Proverbs, Psalms, and Numbers, the Bible's a book of lies. But if you literally go back and look at history and science, you see where the Bible says that God draws up the water from the oceans and pours it down as rain on the land? This is in the book of Amos. This was written around 750 BC. Have you ever heard of the water cycle? Where water is literally taken up from the land and the ocean, and it's literally poured back to the face of the earth? Amos tells you who does that. Are we even going to talk about Tacitus, Pliny the Younger, Josephus, Jewish historian, Babylonian Talmud, etc., and how they all mention Jesus, Christians, him being put to death under Pilate? It's so much more. The entire Bible is divinely written. This good coffee. We got to keep our cups clean, too. If you like content like this, hit follow for more. Also, the deadline is this week. My wife and I are doing a three-day spiritual warfare class at the end of the month. Processing how demons possess people will be taught on and more. Click that link in my bio and then get tickets to join. See you there.